I'm Isaiah Picari. I'm Karima Picari. This is Namaya Grace Picari. And this is Sarai Faith Picari. Hey. And we're the, the Picari Pack! <laughs> We know that it's been a while since our last video. I think eight months yes. exactly. And she was in my belly. And as you can see, Namaya has gotten a lot bigger and has a lot more personality. Um, she's, she's leaving us right now. She's gotten more independent, case in point. So first of all, we just wanted to apologize that we haven't been posting videos. Um, we just had a lot of crazy uh, just life things all happen kind of at the same time with um, us moving. I changed jobs and changed, uh, uh, we uh, started attending a different house church, like all different and, and great changes. Um, and also uh, just the changes Karima was going through with uh, the pregnancy. Both of us becoming parents of two now, um, it's been really difficult to um, find the the time or the, the energy to uh, make these videos, but now that we're all on uh, lockdown, probably like most of you, uh, we have some more time, and so we're hoping to make some more videos um, for you guys in the, the coming uh, couple of months. Um, yes. Yeah, so we definitely felt like just starting this video with a really sincere apology. Um, I mean, we had made like verbal commitments to our YouTube channel viewers and our wonderful subscribers and friends just saying that we're, you know, going to be making videos at this certain time. And But we realized that making that type of commitment, we want our yes to be a yes. So we're not going to do that. But just know that we we really do intend to be posting more and we even have like a list of video ideas. Um, so thank you for tuning in and thank you for being patient with us and being so kind and loving and all of your sweet comments all the time. Mm -hmm. it means a lot to us. Yeah, so this video um, is going to be uh, Karima just sharing um, the story of how Sarai was born and just God's um, provision through um, her labor and delivery. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoy it and are really blessed by this testimony that's coming up. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Signing out. Okay, so ladies um, and gentlemen, if there are some of you watching this as well, welcome. I'm just excited to share uh, this testimony. God did such amazing things uh, with my birth and like everything leading up to the birth, so I think it's definitely worth sharing and I'm excited to one day look back at this or just to be reminded um, by watching this video and remembering like, whoa, that is so awesome and kind of the Lord to do. Okay, so this is Sarai. Sorry, say hi. Hi. Sarai's due date was October 25th, 2019 but she was actually born on November 4th, 2019. So this little baby took her sweet precious time and was 10 days late, 10 days, 10 whole days late. I was actually expecting her to come early. She was really low, my cervix was really light, sorry, my cervix was really thin. And so almost every day since like 38 weeks pregnant, I was like, is she coming now? Is she coming now? Okay, she's coming now, you know. After about a week past our due date, um, our doctor scheduled a labor induction um, and for multiple reasons we were really not wanting to get induced medically or to have any type of drug treatment like uh, misoproxyl or uh, Pitocin. The morning of the labor induction, in all honesty, by then, I was, that's how I was feeling, <laughs> just really defeated and kind of discouraged and tired and uncomfortable and just ready to give birth but um ultimately kind of losing faith like I don't think you know I don't think it'll happen naturally before you know 10 hours from now um anyway so it was really sweet we went to church that day and a few of our brothers and sisters in Christ 
uh, laid hands on us and prayed that that God will just onset labor. So our induction was scheduled for 10 p.m. that night and when we got home from church I was wanting to like jump up and down, do cartwheels, run around the neighborhood like I had been you know exercising days before that but Isaiah was really sweet and encouraged me like hey you know uh, if God wants a baby to come like she's, she's gonna come and you should probably rest before the induction get some sleep you know and so I was like fine so we took a nap and um, okay time to feed her so then we actually got a call from the hospital at around 7 p.m. asking us to come in at 8 p.m. instead of 10 p.m. so we had like an hour to get ready to go on over to the hospital and I'm not gonna lie I was really sad at that moment I was like no that's two whole hours stolen from me that I could be bouncing on the birthing ball so we gather all of our things and then we walk downstairs and as soon as we made it to the kitchen I just had this like really sharp pain in my side I at first I was thinking like is this just a cramp surely it's not a contraction because mind you the past two plus weeks I was just having like very mild like almost pain-free tightening in my stomach but not a real you know contraction I also was having painful Braxton Hicks but um, obviously they didn't lead to uh, me going into labor so they were false alarms so I, I just kind of like wrote it off and was thinking like maybe that's not a contraction maybe I just went down the stairs wrong and honestly like everything was in pain at that point so anyway we load up the car and we start driving to the hospital yeah yeah we're talking about you so on our way to the hospital the same thing happened like I was cramping and it felt like a real contraction so that we make it to the hospital and we get into the room and basically as soon as I walk through the door of the hospital room I had like the most painful, real contraction where I'm like leaning over, can't talk through it, you know, and our nurse is like introducing herself and I'm like, hi, I'm Kareem, I was like in a lot of pain. Um, yeah, so it was, it was funny because the nurse kind of like joked and chuckled and was like, hey, you know, maybe, maybe you're going into spontaneous labor, who knows? And I was like, well, that's what we've been, you know, praying for this whole time, so hopefully that is the case. Yeah, so then I put on my hospital robe and they, you know, hook me up to the IV and they're monitoring the contractions that are happening. So within the first two hours, I went from having contractions that were six minutes apart to contractions that were two minutes apart. So the nurse actually told us that if we had three contractions within 10 minutes, then they actually wouldn't legally be able to even give us um, any type of labor inducing drug. Okay, so Sarai was getting very antsy and she's now with Isaiah. Um, but where was I? So one of the really cool things is it was around 10 p.m. when they had told us that we were having three contractions within those 10 minutes, which means we could not be induced God is good. So to me, that's just the most amazing part is because remember that phone call that they gave us at 7 p.m. to come in at 8 p.m. There was this like two hour window of painful contractions. We had the whole sign in process, like getting attached to the IV and all that stuff. Um, had we had come in at 10 p.m. like it was originally scheduled, I can't even imagine what that drive to the hospital would have looked like. Like we would have been in a lot of pain. Uh, I probably wouldn't have been able to like functionally you know even get ready but God knew that and he was orchestrating the perfect timing where uh, I was resting and I was already in the hospital bed got you know kind of went into the labor with more ease and was breathing and got to like call my doula to come on over who's also my best friend Kelly um, and uh, my mom Isaiah's mom my sister um, so it was amazing. So we found out that we were not going to be induced and it gets even better than that. So even though we were having really regular contractions that were really closely timed, uh, when they first checked my cervix, I only was one centimeter dilated. Just one. So I was like, Lord, I pray that the next time they check me, I'll be 10 centimeters dilated, like 
fully dilated. So then uh, my doula arrives at around like 11 p.m. ish and we're you know laboring and, uh, and it was wonderful and beautiful and hard and painful but wonderful and um, I really just felt God's presence and his nearness and it was just a lot of just thanking him and praising him already for what he's done but then there was this one point where I was in this position like some you know position like this like on my knees and and I just felt an urge to push and I was like like I feel like I feel like I'm fully dilated like I feel like I'm ready to push off this baby I just knew like I just knew that it was time so we called in the nurse and I just asked her like would you mind doing another check because I really feel like I might be fully dilated and so she's kind of like oh oh okay granted this is like not even an hour after you know they already did the first check where I was one centimeter dilated honestly she was kind of taking a little while and I, I when she came back in the in the room I told her like hey you might you also might want to call my doctor so that she doesn't you know miss it um, because I really feel like she's gonna be here any minute my doctor wasn't even scheduled to get to the hospital until the next day seven in the morning so the nurse checked my cervix and I remember her face was like uh and she's like okay wait I don't want to you know verify anything yet let me just get you know someone else to double check but I really feel like you're 10 centimeters dilated and when they did the double check I was I was fully dilated and ready to meet Sarai so basically at that point I was just believing God that he really can make anything happen and yes I just remember really specifically uh, praying and asking that God in his grace would not um, that I wouldn't tear with Sarai and there was no tearing this time around by the grace of God praise the Lord thank you yes yeah, so long story short our whole labor and delivery process was only I mean we gave birth to her about two in the morning so that was like four hours after our originally scheduled labor induction uh, so in total it was like a six hour thing and it like happened starting the moment that we come into the hospital so what I want to encourage you guys with with this testimony is just God's timing is just so perfect it really truly is yeah so I hope that this testimony encourages at least one person um, just to be reminded that God is fully in control and he does know it's best for us um, yeah so there it is Sarai's birth story Thank you for watching and tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Bye. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh my god. <laughs>